Here's our 2012 Chevy Equinox. It had about 6,000, actually 7,000 miles on it. The uh, 2.4 four-cylinder Ecotec engine. This vehicle does come with a salvage title. Salvage title was due to damage that uh, happened here to this corner. The front bumper cover was replaced. We didn't have it painted. We found a bumper cover in white, so that was not uh, repainted. This passenger fender here was repainted and the hood was repainted. Both of them are replaced new GM. No damage to the suspension or engine. Airbags did not deploy. Here's our passenger side. You can see everything's perfectly straight. There was no damage in there whatsoever. It's cloth seats. Let's have the uh, touch screen radio. Of course, the tires here and the rear are brand new, pretty much. They just got the 7,000 miles on them that the vehicle has. Get your spare tire underneath. the uh, backup camera right there and see there is a little scuff on the rear bumper cover it looks like yeah, that'll come right off the only noticeable marks on the car that I could find is right here there's a little chip and then there's a yellow line you know that might buff off of there otherwise the hood's brand new you can see it fits all real nice This, uh, the 2012, they got the uh, power locks here on the doors as well, unlike the earlier model Equinox. 2010, I'm not sure about the 11s, but I know the 2010s only had your power locks right here. So now with the 12s, I know they have them on the door. Of course, we got your uh, cruise control here, your radio controls here. As of right now, there is 7,165 miles on the vehicle. I mean, see there's no other lights that are on. It's the one cruise control there and shut that one off. The eco light, I can shut that off. The other one is the seat belt, which I put my seat belt on, shuts that one off. And then uh, the green light there is your mile an hour. Here's our radio again. We only have, uh, we don't have an owner's manual for it, and we only have one key. This is the key that, I don't know if you can see it there, it does have the remote start on it as well.
back, everything's all nice and clean. No marks, tears, rips, or anything like that. Go for a little bit of a drive. No lights on in the dash that weren't supposed to be on whatsoever. See we're doing about 45 miles an hour now, letting go of the steering wheel. You can see we're still going straight down the road. No shimmy, shakes, no pulls whatsoever. You hit the brakes good and hard. You can see we almost locked them up there. Steering wheel is still straight and we're still in the middle of the road. So brakes don't, uh, don't shimmy or shake. There's no shimmies or shakes at higher speeds. Runs and drives just like a brand spanking new vehicle. acceleration for you. you can see there's nothing overheating or anything like that. Here we are doing about 55. Let go of the steering wheel. You can see it's going straight and true right down the road. Let go again. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us. Thank you very much.